Chris Knight. Crimson Moon. Clear sky. Stars in full view. Breath. That's how it started. Contortion. A world in distortion where the physical realm is merely a portion of what we live. We were human beings once. The most savage species of animal, roaming the seas in search of spices, residing in unknown empires and civilizations, building incomparable structures, erecting libraries of unimaginable knowledge now lost and burnt to precious ash. Remains never more to be adored. Shadows of what once was. Many times we've attempted greatness, achieving nothing but divine failure and bloodshed. We were humans once. We are now arachnids. Inhabiting the physical space for short periods before residing back into the safety of the world wide web. A place where we can decorate our own virtual room for others to view. A place where we can practice faux gratitude. A place where we can delve into intense pornography or radical racial revolution. You choose. We were humans once. We had community. Conglomerates, artistry, astronomy, autonomy. Now foolishly we live newly feudally. Endow me with your hopeful laws, O PM, my noble lord. Reduce me to a quivering pup, thankful for this bed of piss-soaked straw and this meal of miscellaneous packaged raw carcass, for it is flavoured with my favourite jelly. And I can sit here obediently as I watch you on the telly as you chant your Ten Commandments in my humble ear. We were humans once, sadly reduced to cunts, madly putting on these fronts while gladly you watch us starve. Praise black stars till they demand back half of what was taken. Respectfully, they take a knee and they're cascaded with flames of booze and cheese. Then wonder why youths act outrageously in fear. Oh. Dear, oh dear, what have we here? The horror, what squalor they live in. Let's bless this damned rock, replace all their stock with the abundance we've rejoiced through the years. So were we humans once? But that damned rock was lived on. Massacre! A big one. Palaces were nicked from. A human being killed by their peers. He who speaks the devil's tongue is left among the emerald ones. He who treats the rebels aren't deserved. He who speaks the devil's tongue can't tell that he's Pharaoh. Long before you knew the truth, he'd writ the curse. Who knows what's out there? Lurking in the seas. Who knows what dangers lurch upon the breeze? We are cursed by our wanting, foiled by our greed, haunted by fables and mythologies. Our foibles are kindness. Soiled by the violence, embroiled in the silence! Do not rock the boat. Boil in your frustration. Stay coiled in your nation. You won't toil for salvation. Alone now you must float to the depths. Be gone, anon. No, never that wretch, that one who shone too clever. Now burn, thou learn, you worm. And whether you return or squirm is for eternity, forever! He who speaks the devil's tongue is left among the emerald ones. He who treats the rebels aren't deserved. He who speaks the devil's tongue can't tell that he's feral. Long before you knew the truth, he'd writ the curse. He who speaks the devil's tongue can meddle with just anyone. And he who treats the rebels lives in dirt. Cause he who speaks the devil's tongue has leverage on everyone. See through the see through peace and read what hurts. Tis all but a fallacy. The big bleak clock ticks non-stop. 
It's far beyond our minute comprehension. Imagine. It's floating in suspension. Breathe in the zest of summer's breeze. Inhale the sharp tang of winter's wind. <sighs> Crisp night, crimson moon, clear sky, stars in full view. A breath. That's how it started. Conscious life. A physical membrane. A fragment of space. A pigment of the universe. An enchantment of what once wasn't. An infant of pure potential forced into the ethereal realm we inhabit together, made up of the foundational blocks of when she was spawned. The big bleak clock ticks non-stop, but you can stare at it ticking backwards if you look fast and far enough. Tis all but an unlikely fallacy. So, when life gets beyond your minute comprehension, when you feel like a Reckless, restless mess, feel frets in the depth of your chest, the inconsolable eroding of a lifetime of stress. Step outside, take a breath. Crisp night, crimson moon, clear sky, stars in full view. And if you're ever in the midst of doom, remember, those stars there are you.